chalet right here in Canada. Guys, you see the glow? Do you see how I'm glowing? <laughs> right here in Saskatchewan, Regina. Today, I'm taking you to the farmer's market. It happens every Saturday here in Regina. So I'm taking you today, because it's currently fall, they do it indoor. During the summertime, they usually do it outdoor. But this time around, it's going to be indoor. So we are going to the market. And my auntie also has a stand there, so the better. Let's go, let me take you around. Ah, it's cold! <laughs> this is my outfit for today. Let's go guys! Hello guys, in today's vlog we are attending an indoor farmer's market and exploring beautiful places to see in Regina, Saskatchewan. So we are currently doing the setup here at the farmer's market. So guys, I'm here with Raiden <laughs> and Saha. <laughs> and we are here at the farmer's market so they are going to take me, um, since they, they know almost every vendor here, so they are taking me around. So, are you excited just as I am? I am so excited. <laughs> There's so much to see here. Okay. Let's go that way. Let's go. <laughs> the Regina Farmers Market is a non-profit cooperative, members of which are all vendors, and they all sell locally produced in Regina. During summer, it's done outdoor, and during the fall and winter, it's, in, it's done indoors. Today is one of their indoor markets, and I can't wait to explore the farmer's market with you. Start with her. She sells grapes. Thank grape you. Juice. Grape juice. Yeah. So I'm going to try it. From where? From my garden. From your garden. Oh, oh I see. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It's really good. I know. You get the pie anywhere. And you grow them here in Saskatchewan? Wow, <laughs> guys, so this is the juice, it's really nice. It tastes like, um, you see the kind of juice they give to us when we like communion juice? It tastes like communion juice. In Ghana, we have communion juice and it tastes like communion juice. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. What do you sell? Samosa. This samosa. is vegetarian samosa. Okay. And over here is vegetarian spring roll. Okay. And the way how this girl makes them is real. What makes the difference? Mom, what she does, she cuts her fresh vegetables, she marinates them first, and then she rolls them. And because of that, they are so loaded with such good flavor of the kind you just can't find anywhere. Just can't find anywhere. <laughs> I, one thing I have realized is, like here in Saskatchewan, most people are vegan, but in my country. We eat a lot of meat, fish, everything. Well, yeah, you, yeah. you eat fish and, and, you, and you, everywhere you go, even when you eat fish, yeah. you still eat vegetables. You still eat vegetables. vegetables, yes, yes, yeah, yeah that's true. So, <laughs> which okay. is your country? Ghana. Ghana. sauce and it's mainly a Ghanaian sauce so you can literally add it to anything you can add it to rice vegetables spring rolls anything that you want a flavorful cake to this is your go-to sauce yeah so it's such a unique sauce and it's so uh, good it's got a lot of flavor and everything that you would want to add to anything you can add as part of spice to it. How would you rate the spiciness of it? It depends because everybody's palate is different. I would eat it hot. Yes, because I grew up eating it. Some people will eat it. 
Hello. How are you? I'm good. And you? I'm doing great. I see some beautiful African friends. Yes, yes. We've got yeah. some batik. Batik. Lovely. Yes. Where are they from? Which country? So, um, Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Yes. Hey, Zimbabwe representing. All the way, I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These are beautiful. So, how much is this? Uh, so, we have that on for 20. 20? Yes. Okay. Yeah. 20 Canadian dollars. Yes. It's beautiful. So these are like table mats, right? So those are actually cushion covers. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay. Yeah, they don't look like that. <laughs> thank you. They are, yeah. You have beautiful designs. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So when yeah. you came, yeah. she, she was telling me um, her daughter is married to a Nigerian. A Nigerian, okay. Yeah. So, and, and then she was uh, explaining to me that they also have the teeth there. Yeah. And I was just telling her this is the Southern African version of yeah. it. But hands down, I personally like the Ghana ones. Well, Ghana batiks, yeah, yeah. Ah, Ghana, 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 Ghana batiks are beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yours, exactly. yours are also beautiful. Oh yeah, not and bad. This is something I have. The farmers market is the perfect place to find all your fresh produce. They usually do outdoor market, but because it's um, it's currently fall, it's indoor. So everyone sells like all kinds of things, from clothing to food to vegetables, and it's beautiful to see. Like um, I've seen like four or five African um, shops, and I'm like, oh, that's nice. So how often do you do the um, farmers market? Our markets, uh, they run every week, every Saturday throughout the winter. It'll be in the same location. Everything has to be made, baked, or grown in Saskatchewan, so it's okay. all locally produced. Local rice. This is uh, wild rice. Yeah. Wild rice. Oh, lovely. Yeah. And they are and they are dark in color. I haven't seen this type of rice before. Yeah. So Saskatchewan grown and uh, grown north of Hudson Bay, Saskatchewan. Uh, third generation farmer. And uh, yeah, so it's actually a superfood. So it's really good for you and also survival food as well too. So it lasts indefinitely. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, this is how the rice looks like. So this is the broken rice. So it's broken up into smaller pieces, okay. just due to transportation fracture when we're drying it out. So this is the longer rice. Mm. So it's fuller. It takes a little longer to cook, but when it uh, when it cooks, it flowers open really nice. It's okay, but the color is is dark like this. So it's kind of this color, yeah. But it will open up and turn into like a grayish white. Whitish. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's a little different. <laughs> yeah, very different. Yeah. Very different from the usual rice we eat. <laughs> yeah. So we are done. It's time to pack out. Outside is cold, so I have my jacket on. About to leave. And yeah. As you can see, everybody else is packing. It started at 9 and it ends at 1. I love the fact that as soon as it was 1 o'clock, everybody started like packing. This is also the Mosaic Stadium, which is their like their national stadium where all the matches are played here. seat of Saskatchewan. Oh wow. Yeah. So this is our government building where the Prime Minister is. No, we we every province has a premier, so we don't call them prime ministers. The prime minister is the federal, so 
Oh, but okay. this is our 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 head is called the premier. So do you have to pay to enter or you can um, enter? I, I'm, I haven't, I'm not sure. Maybe we can, we can enter the ledge. Guys, wow, look at this behind me. Yeah. It's so, so beautiful. Saskatchewan legislative building. So uh, the, the ledge has three flags flying on it. On top of it, yeah. On I top see. of it. Yeah. So one is, the middle one is the Canadian flag. Mm -hmm. The left with the green and the yellow uh, background is the Saskatchewan flag. And, and then that's England and then on your right is in the English fl flag the England flag yeah. oh. so the reason being that the English flag being there is because uh, I mean so sorry Canada is a Commonwealth right okay. so Canada is part of uh, Canada because Canada is a Commonwealth the Queen or oh, now it's King King Charles <laughs> is the King of Canada oh, so that, that's okay. why they are flying those three flags there Wow yeah that's why we have the the third flag as the uh, like the British flag, yeah. Guys, this place is so beautiful, and I love the fact that the trees are like yellow. Guys, look at this! Isn't this beautiful? God is good. So, guys, we are currently approaching the man made lake. Waskana. Yeah. Waskana lake. It's called what? Waskana Lake. Waskana Lake. Yeah. Wow. I'm sure I'm sure during summer here it's like packed, packed, right? Yes. Uh, because people, it's fall. They, they have a, like a nice trail. Okay. That people just walk. This place is a very beautiful place and a perfect spot for your picnics mm -hmm. and your social gatherings. Do they allow social gatherings yes, here? They do. They do? Yes. For free? Uh, I think so. Because okay, so there's another side what? of the Waskana Park. Okay. Or at the other side of the lake. They have, so you can have social gatherings. They have like barbecue spots built everywhere. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then you can just go have your meat and everything and make up your friends start barbecue okay yeah. can have your own picnic guys we are leaving the legislative place legislative what building we are leaving the legislative building so this is the seat of saskatchewan yeah <laughs> so, the government yeah. seat and take one more look before we leave Next stop is the Mackenzie Art Gallery, which is another beautiful place to see on your next trip here. So we got this book for free and she says today we get it for free because it's our first time at the gallery. So yeah, on a normal day you would have paid six dollars but she offered to give it to us for free today i don't know maybe today is a lucky day for me and guess what i just met somebody who watches my youtube videos all the way from ghana she's called faith um she said she works around here whenever you come look for her she was so shy she's like i don't want to be on camera but i'm sure she's going to see this video so faith nice meeting you so yeah this is how it looks like from here I saw the name Kunedu. I just felt like the person is a Ghanaian only for me to enter and the pictures are of black people so yeah I may be right the person is really Ghanaian <laughs> so this is some of his designs and photographs yeah I love this I think I think he's, he's really a Ghanaian artist this is really beautiful here
going to have ice cream at one of the best ice cream spots here in Saskatchewan and it's called the Danny's Artisan ice cream auntie says if I try this ice cream I will not love any other ice cream in Ghana so I'm very <laughs> fingers crossed to expecting the best ice cream here in Canada yeah. <laughs> hello YouTube <laughs> so yeah, yeah I want to try you the have ice cream to follow her on YouTube <laughs> So yeah, I don't eat chocolate. So yeah, nothing chocolate. Yes. I'd say the strawberry honey. I'm excited. Super popular. Which strawberry. one? The strawberry honey. You guys can. So this one's the strawberry. Yeah. So this is the. The strawberry honey. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. It's nice. Let me try yeah, that. Yeah. Let me try. Yeah. Let's try. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. Yes. Right, so she asked me to try it. This is what caramel, yeah. Cheesecake. cheesecake. I'm going to try it. Tastes so good, you know. Mm. I know. <laughs> I'll take that. Honestly, I should have taken a cheesecake, guys. Let's see. The ice cream is as nice as um, Auntie Emma described. It's really, really good. I had to get a small cup so that I can put in the cone. It was really, really, really good. Shito here and this is where the shito is so if you're looking for anywhere to get some shito here in Regina this is the place so we just came here to pick a few things and head back to the house so I just wanted you to see so guys let me know in the comment section did you enjoy watching this video let me know in the comment section until next time on my next video I want to say I love you all much love from Saskatchewan <laughs> Let's go. I love you all. Much, much, much love. Mwah. <laughs>